Howdy everyone, Scott Free For All here. We are back on Osada, and it is later the same day from when we were together last time. We're at the dealership here, and um, you may notice we've got uh, our pickup swapped out from what we had in New Farmer mode. Uh, it came with the base game pickup truck. Swap that out for the Lizard F100 pickup. Just so we have some different uh, options, uh, this will you can switch out the the bed here for uh, a, a a grain uh, bed as well as something to haul animals. So a little more options for us. We're here because what we have to do this afternoon is we're going to lime the two fields that we harvested last time. And I made an addition to the dealership as well. So the dealership has a telehandler here that we can use to load things. So I'm going to consider that the property of the dealership and not for me. So we have the same amount of money that we started with last time. Let's go ahead and buy some lime. I think four bags will work. Hopefully... Our pickup can handle that. All right, let's get that loaded up. I'm gonna try to pick up two of these at once. I think we'll be okay. There we go. Here we are. That took a bit more work than I had hoped for. I spared you some of the uh, frustration that I had. Let's get this parked. Get these strapped. Turns out we're actually pretty close to the dealership. All 
All right. And we'll need to purchase a fertilizer spreader that can also do lime. And I have one figured out. So let's get in our tractor. We can go pick that up. Now my good friend Yan R73 has made an auto drive course for this Hosada map. Uh, he is going to have that tested and made available, he and Farmer Ed. So thank you to them. Once that's available, I'll leave a link in um, a video description for that. But let's try it out. Let's go to the dealership. Hopefully we won't get into trouble with the traffic on this map. So you may recall from our last video together, I have an oat field that I purchased and we will get that harvested probably tomorrow. Okay. Let me show you the fertilizer spreader that I was looking at. So given that this map is based in Poland, very appropriately, this Jan Pole is a Polish company. Uh, we can expand this to a thousand liters, so I'm going to do that. Let me see if I can change this color without any price increase. Looks like it's going to let me. I like that. Let's get that purchased. $4,500. All right. Now, I'm probably going to need a front weight for this tractor, so... Let's see if we can add one. I can add a front weight. Can add a 300 or nothing. Let's add the 300. Hopefully that'll do us well. For $400. So just looking at my to-do list here, so after we apply the lime, we'll cultivate the fields, we'll advance the day, and then I think we'll have some time to harvest those oats, and then I'd like to buy us some chickens. I found a chicken coop that's small enough to put on my farm and I found a place where I think it'll work. 
And that way we can get some egg production and a little more money coming our way. That's going to do us just fine. I'm going to see if I can load up just by coming alongside here. And I can, so that's great. Now, I don't think this lime is going to go very far. I'll bring the pickup over here by the field so that we can easily unload. I need to unfold. Okay. Now we have it. And we're already about 50% emptied. And that is it. All right. We'll drive up here to the road and I'll go get the pickup. Very good. All right, let's continue. Didn't quite get it all done. We'll go fill up once more. I'll get this little spot. Looks like that spot is just fine. That's an artifact of precision farming. Sometimes when there is an area where lime's not needed, it just doesn't draw that area. It doesn't paint it with lime. I think there's one little spot over here I missed. We'll get that. There we go. And that's going to do it. Let's go over to our other field. I'll be able to get this one done in one pass. I don't think we're going to have enough to get this completely done. Not a problem, though. We'll just refill. Yeah, we're going to fall just short.
Okay, that should be more than enough. And it looks like we land a little bit of the next field for some reason. Alright, very good. The only thing left to do before we seed is we'll need to cultivate these fields. So, we have a small cultivator. I'm going to work with it simply because I don't want to spend any money on a cultivator right now. I'm going to set this aside here. And we'll start with the south build, build two. And I'll get that pickup put away and get that passenger door closed. I must have uh, hit something to cause that to happen. Let me get that pickup put away and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're finally back. I'll uh, do a little montage for this, so sit back and enjoy. Very good. I'm just going to go clean up the corners and we'll move on to the other field. All right, that's done. Let's head over to the other field. All right, I think we'll do a speedy for this one.
All right. And that went a little quicker than I expected. So I think in the previous episode, I mentioned that this cultivator may be too small. But, you know, it's really not that bad. And especially for this tractor, which is a little... I won't say it's underpowered, but it just doesn't have a lot of power. And I don't know if you could tell in the uh, time lapse, but uh, we were struggling up that hill. We were having to downshift to get that. All right, well, we've got all that done. It's getting a little late in the afternoon. Let's drop this off. See what we can get done before the end of today. Okay, I've thought about it for a little while, and I think we're going to go ahead and harvest the oats. If we have time to pick up the straw, we will, but I'm not expecting that we're going to, and that's fine. Go ahead and hook up our trailer. Going to need that. And let's take it over to the oak field take it to the proper field this time okay here's our oat field so that's not going to take much time at all looks to be all right let's go get our harvester So although we could make time to pick up the straw, I want to leave some time in the day for us to buy some chickens, which means that we're going to buy the chicken pen and um, we'll load it up with chickens. We'll give them some barley and that may be a good stopping place. We'll see. Make sure that we have swath. Swath is enabled. I don't even think that we'll fill up the hopper of this combine. Oats don't yield that well to begin with, and this field looks frittled with weeds and I'm gonna guess that it was not fully fertilized either and we will store the oats until there's a good time to sell them We're not going to own any horses where we would need to use this as feed. So we will simply turn this in for cash at the appropriate time. Am I going to hit that? I am not. My apologies to the owner of that potato crop.
that's not much of a header headland but I think it'll be enough for us this combine turns sharp enough that I think we'll be all right we may need to uh, do some do an Austin Powers mood uh, Austin Powers move to uh, get around all that Yeah, I almost have to retrain my brain when I think, oh, I need to harvest a whole field of oats. These fields are so small. I mean, it's going to take us five minutes. I knew that was going to happen. But I was hoping that it wouldn't. All right, let's uh, see if we can get around this and still get all of the oats. There we go. Wasn't too bad. All right, back in business. What was I saying? Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's like five minutes to harvest a field. <laughs> Ten minutes to cultivate a field with a little bitty cultivator. So that's kind of one of the good things about a series on a map like this is we can do a number of different things. It's not like, you know, watching me harvest wheat for half an hour but to do so many more things. I'm excited to get some chickens. That'll be something new and different. I always like having some sort of uh, animal to tend to. Oh, I missed a spot right there, didn't I? Let's get that a little bit. There we are. And here is our final row. And I did it again, folks. All right. Yeah, going up that hill is a little bit of struggle for this combine. A lot less than, a lot less trouble than our tractor had when cultivating that other field. All right, so we're 65% full. 3,211 liters of oats. So, 
nothing amazing, but perhaps we can get, you know, a couple thousand dollars off of that. A couple thousand euros, that is. All right, there we are. That was quick. Excellent. All right, I'm going to run over and get our tractor and trailer full of oats. We'll get that into the silo. All right, very good. I will leave this right here for now. Okay. Well, we don't have a way to uh, move chickens in a trailer, but we'll go ahead and purchase a chicken coop. And here's where I want to put it. I want to put it right here. So next to our shed, and this is our garage. It's where it's where my pickup truck lives. So we'll put it there, and then um, here's the outhouse, in case you're wondering <laughs> where I go. Let's get our chicken and purchased. So the hen house I was thinking about getting is, let's see. It's this one right here, small chicken coop five by three holds 60 chickens, which is a, a good amount. And we're going to just put it right in here. It's $21,000. Let's get oriented so we can see what's going on. Here we are. All right. And let me just get that right back here in the corner. Maybe right there. Just like that. Move it over here a little bit more. Right. There. All right. Let's buy some chickens. And we're just going to go ahead and buy all 60 chickens. I know we could buy like a smaller amount and wait for them to reproduce, but this way we'll get our egg production right away. It's $3,300, so it's not a lot of money. All right, and there's our chickens. <laughs> okay, let's get them fed. I don't know I don't know how much they're going to need. So, I will just fill up this trailer a good amount. 
whatever they whatever it doesn't take we'll put back in the silo Let's see I did not do a good job of that. Let's try that again. There we are. Okay. That's almost all of the barley that we harvested. But I don't think the chickens are going to take nearly this much. Now, getting this backed up is going to be an ordeal. So, I may spare you the, <laughs> the horror of me getting this backed up. Okay, that was ugly, but <laughs> I finally got it in here. In the future, I think I may be the chickens using the pickup truck. That'll be much easier to back up. Oh yeah, and they only took 3,500 of the barley, so next time we'll do that in the pickup truck. I think the truck will hold a little over 4,000 liters. So that's going to work out just fine. All right. I think that's going to do it for this time. Next time we meet, uh, before we meet, I'll advance the day. So we will start bright and early tomorrow morning and we will get these fields seeded. I haven't yet decided what we're going to put in there, but I'll let you know next time we meet. So thanks for coming along with me. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you next time. This is Scott Free For All. See you later.